everybody, welcome back to the Craft Beer Hub. I've got another beer review for you, and it is this. This is a beer from St. Austell, and if you could notice the inverted branding, you'll know what beer it is, or what beer it's based on. This is proper black, a black IPA bottle conditioned at 6% from St. Austell Brewery down in Cornwall. Um, if we're just going to briefly talk about proper job, it certainly isn't 6%, it's certainly a lot weaker than that. But Proper Job is a kind of an English IPA, pretty decent little beer, very easily accessible. A lot of you would have had it. Um, not the best around, but certainly not the worst. Um, and if if I, if this is the only if Proper Job is the only sort of beer I can grab out of a Tesco's if I'm at a party and I've run out of beer or whatever, I'm not really the saddest person in the world. I also had Big Job, I think it was called, which is their double IPA that I did quite enjoy. Um, but this caught my interest. I was in Asda um, a couple of weeks ago now, and this was on the shelf for about £2.50, £2.60. And I thought, oh, this is quite interesting. So it's also a very, a, very, um, a very traditional brewery with beers like Tribute, like I say, Proper Job and beers like that. But the black IPA thing is a very crafty thing. Now, I'll say crafty. It's a very sort of modern beer, modern beer, beer world sort of thing to do and it's quite interesting that they would do this because they know their lanes in Austell they brew some pretty decent traditional beer the stuff on cask is lovely I, I quite like a tribute on cask um, but they've obviously felt they need to do something a little bit craftier or a little bit more sort of modern focused and good on them good on them there's obviously at the moment the craft beer industry is sort of taking a bit of a battering with all these breweries closing but there are some success stories. Um, and black IPAs are one of the sort of more modern success stories out of the craft beer industry. So it's an Austin have obviously seen an opportunity and they're going to get involved. So let's get it open then. I'm, the, the camera wrap's kind of got this typical kind of, it's just the inverted colours. Um, there's normally a flash of green on there. It's kind of got, give, give me sort of Guinness vibes actually with the black and gold and white. But yeah, very, very sort of... Um, very interesting beer this, very interesting branding. Let's get it open then. Boom, where's my glass? So yeah, like I say, it's not still quite like their beers generally. Um, and when I saw this, I was, I was just so interested. And it pours, lovely, look at that. Look at the development on that. There we go. So black IPAs generally, I'm kind of neither here nor there with them. A good one really does bang home. Um, Good black IPA to me gives you a slight hint of that, um, a slight hint of that kind of roasted malt character. Bit of chocolate, bit of coffee. Don't get, a, I don't generally get a lot of the sweeter notes out. You know, you don't get your caramel and your burnt toffee normally in a black IPA, <clears throat> but it has a lovely hoppy hit as well. A black IPA normally, so I'm wondering that if they've used some quite nice sort of bitter rather than sweet American, some nice bitter English hops in this would be an absolute dream because I think that would go really well with the with the with the roasted malt. Let's get an aroma then. Hint of citrus, slightly earthy aroma coming out, but you are picking up a slight hint of that coffee, a slight hint of that chocolate, more roasted chocolate. But that's those citrus earthy like citrus and earthy notes like traditional British hop notes are coming through so I'm really hoping this should be quite good it smells good it poured fantastic I mean the head retention is lovely it's got a little one finger slightly tan coloured head jet, the beer is pretty much jet black it looks really really good let's go in cheers everybody That's pretty damn good. That is pretty damn good. Subtle carbonation, hissing, hissing and fizzing away straight off the bat. But what you do get, there is... <clears throat> oh, the back. Oh, I wasn't getting that the first time. Okay, this is good. This is the malt for me. I'm going to go into a bit more detail, but you've got the roasted malt at the start, the roasted malt at the end, but in the middle, you do have those lovely citrusy, slightly earthy, grassy British hops that are playing a bit of a role. It's 
So it's chocolate. Quite light chocolate. Quite, like I say, roasted chocolate. And then quickly, it's making me smile. And quickly, the lemon. There's a lovely spritzy lemon zest that comes in. Followed by those kind of earthly, earthy, ever, ever so slightly metallic um, hops in the middle. And then the back, and the beer's long gone, and it's still there. It's this really lovely, creamy, roasted coffee. And it's, it is creamy, which you don't normally get out of a black IPA. It's really quite good, this beer. Um, and for, what did I say it was, £2.50, £2.60? It's just got a lovely, it's just got a lovely balance. It's never really sweet. It's never really overly bitter. The bitter notes at the back are sort of, like I say, creamy coffee. So it's not just roasted coffee. It's never quite that aggressive on the on, on the back of the tongue. But there's so much going on with this beer. Um, and you can definitely tell. You can definitely tell it's been brewed by um, a traditional brewer, a big traditional brewer. There is that factor to it. Um, it hasn't got that kind of new, a lot of these new, modern modern sort of if, uh, think kernel um a lot of these modern stouts are often hot with sabro or columbus and they give you a lot more aggressive flavors than what the british hops do in this um so like i say you can kind of tell it is a slightly older world beer but i think it's good for it i really do think it's good for it yes yeah, just a lovely balance Balance in terms of sweetness and bitter. There's a balance between the malt and the hops. There's that kind of creeping, creamy coffee note that comes up. It gives the beer a bit more quality and a bit more body because it is very light. It's a very light beer, especially for 6%. It's a very light beer. But no, that's really quite nice. Let's have a quick look at the bottle then. Um, as black as a stout, but close your eyes and this beer tastes like a classic IPA. Powerful hops dominate the restrained coffee and co chocolate and coffee notes from the roasted malt. Bottle conditioned beer from St. Austell, 6%. Ingredients are water, malted barley, wheat, hops and yeast. That's always good to see. And yeah, like I say, a li you know, 250 260 Very, very good price for that beer. Um, how would I rate it? Well, I always consider price in my videos. Um, and I think for the price, that's blooming good. That is blooming good. That's a lot. That's a lot better than some kind of big name brewery um, black IPAs that I've had. Um, it's a very different beer, like I say, because it's got the very traditional English hops in there, and um, doing a lot of the doing a lot of the work. But it's just a really good hearty. It is hearty, but it's light. It's got this weird thing. It's kind of it's hearty because it's British hops and it's and it's got a, that a lot of those sort of stouty roasted malt characters but it's light because it's never it's never really that heavy it's kind of a funny one this 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 beer but it's, it's very good it is very very good for the money i'm gonna give that a four out of five i think that's fantastic go and buy one if you haven't already um yeah won't be the last time i have that that's for sure guys this is a, i think this is a brand new beer or it's a new beer on two this is i bought it it's in asda i should have said for 250 260 it's a new beer on the asda shelf go and pick up a bottle you really enjoy it guys thanks very much like subscribe if you be so kind i will see you on the next one cheers